CIET NCERT presents audio book of EVS for class 5 entitled Looking Around 5. This is lesson 7 Experiments with Water from page 60 to page 66. Let's listen to lesson number 7 page 60 Lesson 7 Experiments with Water What floats what sinks Aisha was waiting for dinner. Today Ammi was making her favorite food, puri and spicy potatoes. Aisha watched as her mother rolled out the puri and put it in the hot oil. She saw that at first the puri sank to the bottom of the pan. As it puffed up, the puri came up and started floating on the oil. One puri did not puff up and did not float like the others. On seeing this, Aisha took some dough and rolled it into a small ball. She flattened it and put it in a bowl of water. Alas, it sank to the bottom and stayed there. Think what would happen if A. Aisha put a puffed puri in a bowl of water. Would it sink or float? B. You put a steel plate on water. Would it sink or float? What would happen to a spoon? C. Would the cap of a plastic bottle sink or float on water? In the evening, Aisha went for a bath. She had just come out when her mother called. Aisha, you have dropped the soap in the water again. Take it out and put it in the soap case. Aisha was in a hurry and the soap case fell out of her hands. Page 61. It started floating on water. Aisha gently put the soap in the soap case. She saw that the case continued to float even with the soap in it. Have you seen that something float on water while others sink? Think how this happens. The poem here raises such questions. Why? Oh why? A wooden boat in water will float, but a needle will sink. Why does this happen? Let me think. An iron ship will also float, though it's much heavier than my boat. But a needle, light as a leaf, thin as a pin, will sink right in. Why does this happen? Let me think. Shishir Shobhan Asthana, Chakmak, December 1985, translated by Anupalal. Do this and find out. Do this experiment in groups of four friends. Each group will need a big pot filled with water and the things listed in the table. Put each thing one by one in water and observe. Write your observations in the table given on the next page. Page 62. Tick mark for the things that float. Mark cross for those that sink. Here is a table with 3 columns. The heading of the first column is things to be put in water. Heading of the second column, I guessed before I did it. Heading of third column, I saw when I did it. Things to be put in water. 1. A empty bowl, that's a katori. B after putting in 6 to 7 small pebbles, one by one. 2. iron nail or pin 3 matchstick 4 a empty plastic bottle with its lid closed b bottle half filled with water c bottle full of water 5 aluminium foil from medicine packing a open and spread out b pressed tightly into a ball C in a cup like shape 6 A soap cake B soap cake on a small plastic plate 7 a piece of ice now mark your observations in the next two columns by using a tick mark or a cross mark find out from the other groups which things floated and which sank in the water after doing the experiment fill in the blanks 1 the iron nail dash in water but the katori dash i think this happened because 
dash. 2. The empty plastic bottle dash on water. The bottle filled with water dash because dash. 3. The aluminium foil dash when it was spread out. When pressed tightly into a ball, it dash. This may have happened because dash. Page 63 Is it magic? When Aisha woke up in the morning, Ammi had fever. Abu made some tea and went to give medicines to Ammi. He told Aisha, You boil eggs, also put some salt in the water. Aisha took water in a pot. By mistake, she put too much salt in the water. She saw the eggs at the bottom of the pot come up a little and start to float in water. A. Take some water in a glass. Put a lemon in it. Now keep putting salt in the water, half a spoon at a time. Were you able to float your lemon in water? B. What do you think? The lemon floated in salty water because dash. Here is a fact box titled Dead Sea. All oceans and seas have salty water. The saltiest of all is the Dead Sea. How salty? Imagine 300 grams of salt in 1 litre of water. Would you be able to even taste such salty water? It would be very bitter. Interestingly, even if a person does not know how to swim, she would not drown in this sea. She will float in water, as if lying down on it. Remember the lemon you floated in salty water? What dissolved? What did not? On Sunday, Aisha's cousin brother, Hamid, came to her house to play. As soon as he came, he asked his aunt to make his favourite shakkar para. That's a sweet dish. Ammi said, Let me come back from the market, then I will make some for you. Why don't you help me? Take two glasses of water and put a bowl of sugar in it. Mix it till it dissolves. Hamid thought, Let me finish this work fast, then I will watch TV. Suggest some ways to Hamid for quickly dissolving sugar. Teachers note, it is not expected that children should be told about density. We should accept different answers that children may give, such as water is heavy or thick. Page 64 Do this experiment. Make groups of four friends. For the experiment, you will need four to five glasses or bowls, spoons, water, and the things listed in the table. Take some water in each glass. Now try to dissolve one thing in one glass. Observe what happens and note in the table. Here is the table with three columns. Column 1, things. Column 2, did it dissolve or not? Column 3, what happened after keeping for two minutes? Things. 1. Salt. 2. Soil. 3. Chalk powder. 4. 1 spoon milk. 5. Oil. Now fill the table accordingly. Tell. A. Could you see the salt after it dissolved in water? If no, why? B. Does that mean that now the water does not have salt? If it has, then where is the salt? C. What difference did you see in the water with salt and the water with chalk powder after keeping for some time? D. Which of the two would you be able to separate from the water by straining with a cloth? Salt or chalk powder? Teachers note. There are many things which cannot be easily labelled as soluble or insoluble. These categories are anyway not needed here. Children need to be encouraged to fill the table on the basis of their own observations. Page 65 While doing the experiment, Aisha and Hamid had an argument. Aisha felt that after stirring it, the oil dissolved in water. Hamid did not agree. He said, Look, the tiny yellow oil drops can still be seen in the water. Aisha said, Let's wait for some time and then see. Do you think the oil got dissolved in the water? Why do you think so? Racing drops 
Aisha put two drops of oil on the lid of her tiffin box. Next to that, she put two drops of water and two drops of sugar solution. She tilted the lid. She saw some drops slid down quickly while some were left behind. You also try to do the same and then tell which drop went ahead. Why did it slide faster? Where did the water go? One day, Aisha's mother put some water to boil on the stove for making tea. She got busy with something and forgot about it. When she remembered and came to check, she found very little water left in the pan. Think, where did the water go? Why did Chitti Babu and Chinna Babu keep their mango jelly in the sun? At your house, what things are made by drying in the sun? Page 66 Dandi March This incident took place in 1930, before India became independent. For many years, the British had made a law that did not allow people to make salt themselves. They had also put a heavy tax on salt. By this law, people could not make salt even for use at home. How can anybody live without salt? Gandhiji said. How can a law not allow us to use freely what nature has given? Gandhiji with several other people went on a yatra, that's a long walk, from Ahmedabad to the Dandi seashore in Gujarat to protest against this law. Do you know how salt is made? The sea water is collected in shallow beds dug in the sand. Water is allowed to dry in the sun. After the water dries, the salt remains on the ground. What we have learnt A. You have washed your handkerchief and you want to dry it quickly. What all can you do? B. What things do you put in water to make tea? Which of those things dissolves in water? C. You have been given some mishri pieces, that's lumps of sugar. Suggest some ways to dissolve them quickly. Teacher's Note Children of this age cannot be expected to understand the concept of evaporation, but they can begin to think about it. Dandi Yatra can provide a context to talk about the struggle for independence. Chapter 7 of total 22 chapters of the book, Looking Around 5, ends here. Narrator, Richa Sayal Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.